I'd heard stories about it, but man, they sure picked a spot for a Colosseum. It's at the tip of the continent of Desier, after all. Now that you mention it, this continent has a pretty strange shape. I wonder why it's shaped the way it is. Hmm. I'll bet we might figure out why if we walked all the way around it. That's our map lover, Captain Carol. I don't love maps. No, no, don't be shy. It's a wonderful hobby. Ugh, <sighs> that doesn't sound like a compliment at all.
no sign of him so far. Do you think he went this way? Maybe he used this to get through to the other side of the mountain. But this cave is the Weasand of Kados! A powerful monster called Terrapus lives here. It's supposed to be really dangerous. Or at least that's what Nan told me. Perhaps he went inside without knowing that. like he was hiding out here hoping we just pass him by. Well now, let's have a nice long chat. What were you trying to gain setting us up like that back at the Coliseum? And get back that case! You leave me no choice. Leviathan's Claw? Scare me. All my heart, baby. It's like a flickering blade. Burn. These guys are all over the place. Guess this means Ruins Gate and Leviathan's Claw are connected. So they pretend to help with the excavations, then swipe materials and sell them later, huh? Who oh, I'll make them pay, I swear. How could a guild as famous and renowned as Ruins Gate do something like that? Judith, wait! He'll get away if we don't hurry. Remember what I said? There's a really nasty monster living in there. Hey, what do you say we call it a day? Old Raven can't afford to get too far from Nordopolica without getting this letter to Bellius. The Don will hit me with another one of his thankless jobs otherwise. Well, I'm going after him. I can't let somebody like that just do whatever with the Blastia he takes from the ruins. Then I'm gonna get that case back, too. Uh, I'm going too. What are you talking about? You're staying put here. I'm not. Huh. This doesn't sound like something Brave Asperia can very well pass up. Yeah. It's our job to protect Estelle. If we all go together, we're bound to come up with something. Sure you'll be all right without the Great Raven? I think so. Good luck delivering the letter. Ugh. Jeez, aren't you even gonna try to stop me from leaving? Thank you. 
Why'd you run away, Yuri? The way that fight was going, we would have been eaten in no time. <clears throat> Although we could have ripped our way out from inside its stomach. This woman's crazy. I don't know. I think Judith could pull it off. And that scares me. Oh. Did you really want to fight that monster so badly, Judith? It's not that I wanted to fight it. I just don't like leaving things half done. This was a strategic retreat. Come on, it would have been bad if we'd actually been eaten. Yeah, but we should come back here again. Yeah, if we feel like it. a pretty strong monster, but I guess we're done. I guess we're done? Come on! We just defeated that gigantic monster! Calm down, Carol. Pull yourself together. Come on, Yuri. You can at least be a little bit happy. Huh? What's the matter, Estelle? Why are you sitting? How can both of you take it so easily? What? Did you get scared, Estelle? That huge monster. I was so nervous. I... I... You were doing just fine while we were fighting. But if I got like this during battle, I'd end up causing trouble for everybody. Don't worry about it, Estelle. Here, let me give you a hand. I... I'm sorry. There we go. Now, who do we get to fight next? Bring them on, right? I'd rather have nobody be next. Huh? Hey, Yuri. You're really ready for another fight, aren't you?
Did you just hear something? Right here! Whoa! Wait! Patty? Ah! We meet again! You sure pop up in the weirdest of places. Still looking for Eifried's treasure? Aye, that I am. Hey, what kind of treasure is it anyway? Prepare to have your socks blown off. It's the Maristella. What is that? Um, I... I'm not sure. Wow, even our walking encyclopedia hasn't heard of it. Out of Eifried's treasures, the Maristella is the most precious. Well, has anyone found it yet? They're called treasures precisely because they're hard to find. You're a weirdo. Hey! I heard in Nordopolica that you're Eifried's granddaughter. Is that true? Whoa, little lady, that right. I wonder how the Don would react if he found out his sworn ally had a granddaughter. Now that you mention it, the Don and Eifried were friends since before the Union was formed, weren't they? But hey, you're lying, right? About being Eifried's granddaughter. I mean, you never said anything about that before. It's the truth, I think. You think? What do you mean? I mean, I'm speculating. Estelle's asking why you would claim someone's your grandfather based on just speculation. Oh, well, that's because I have amnesia. Am... Amnesia? Yep. Then you don't know for sure whether you really are Eifried's granddaughter? There's no doubt it's true. I think. Ugh, come on! Make up your mind! Which is it? Because I don't know. I'm searching for the Maristella because I don't know. So basically, to get your memories back, you want to meet Eifried, a guy who might be your gramps. And to find him, you're looking for that Maristella treasure. That sound about right? Aye. Someday I'll meet my grandpa. But... On a more urgent subject, shouldn't we be going after the Red Box? Oh, right! Hey, why are you following us? I was planning on going this way anyway. Then why don't we travel together? I'd like that. This isn't like going shopping, you know. I know that. If something happens, I'll help out. Well, aren't you helpful? Wow, the days just fly by. What's with you all of a sudden? Oh, I've just been thinking about how strong we've grown without even realizing it. That's because we have terrible luck. What does getting stronger have to do with having bad luck? We keep running into one mess after another. The Empire, the guilds, everybody hates us. So all this bad luck made us fight, and so we got stronger. Is that really luck? It's all right, Carol. As we travel, the winds of luck are little by little turning in our favor. Exactly. Luck just flies by too, like the wind. Yuri, you're kind of missing the point.
that amnesia was only in stories. It happens all the time. Get caught up in an explosion during a failed Blastia experiment, and there go all your memories. But losing all of your memories is pretty rare. It's a tragedy. That it is. Well, even if your past memories are gone, you can start creating new memories from now on. There's no need to be pessimistic. I see. That's a different point of view. I'll stuff my mind's album with memories of Yuri. Yuri and more Yuri. Just thinking of it makes me shiver. I, I hope there might be a little room for me in there. I, I think we can squeeze you into a corner somewhere. With you, Carol. You've been nervous for a while now. Come on, we'll lose Regay if we don't hurry up. But, but there might be dangerous monsters in there. What are you talking about? We can't just take this sitting down. We can't let him have that box, Carol. I'm just a little tiny, eensy weensy bit curious as to why he took that box. So let's find out. <gasps> I don't know if you all are brave or crazy. I guess I'm outvoted. Oh, I've had enough of this. I'll blast away Regay and the monsters. Let's go. here too? What do we do? Charge right in. I don't think so. Judith is right. Touching air that thick is dangerous. I, I can't believe that something like that would s save me. Wait. Ah! It looks like we'll have to keep our distance. W what's this sh shaking? Is that the monster you were talking about, Carol? No! I've never seen a monster like that before! No, Patty, don't! <laughs> Whoa! It ate the air? Not good. Hey, I can move. You're not getting away again. Rita, be careful. Don't worry, it's not harmful at its current density. What the hell just happened? The monster we just saw somehow normalized the air crane that was out of control. But that would mean that it can control the air. Could it be the same thing that guy did with his sword back in Cave Mock? Can we pass through it? Rita! Oh, uh, right. It should be okay. All right! Charge! Uh, Patty, please be careful. What's the matter? I have to figure this out. I mean, this is what I'm traveling for. Come on, Rita. I know, I know. We have to follow him, but I just... That air cranny isn't exactly going anywhere, is it? Of course not, you idiot. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, let's go. All right. 
Carol, are you okay? Yeah. Peachy. No, really, I'm fine. That monster's power. Was that the Rizomata formula too? Monster that consumes air? Just what was that creature? It did seem different from other monsters somehow. Yeah, that's for sure. It also looked like it was staring at us. Maybe it was wondering which of us to eat first. It, it looked into my eyes for quite a long time, actually. How nice for you. He must have thought you looked the tastiest. I don't think I'd call that nice. I never would have guessed there would be an air crane in the Weezen of Kados. Me neither. I guess nobody passing through ever noticed it. It must not have been putting out enough air until now for anyone to feel the effects. Sounds right. Sure picked the perfect time to start going crazy. That was a serious pain. Well, I was able to log a new discovery, so it worked out in the end. Yeah, so glad you enjoyed yourself. So, someone has one of those air crane you found? Rita, you explain. I'm all ears. I've been participating in the conversation, right? Indeed. Looks like our little game of tag is over, Reggae. <laughs> n no. I'll have to show you my really real power. No way! Huh. So 
So that's what's been going on. What does this mean? Was he disguising himself as Regay? I don't think we have time to worry about the particulars right now. Oh, me, oh, my. How terribly frightening. I don't know what I'd do if I were to end up like poor Rago. What do you mean? What happened to him? Oh, they found his body face down in a riverbed back in Dongrest. I just couldn't bear it if I ended up like that, you know. Rago is... dead? But why? Mm, I'm afraid that's not for me to say. My lips are zipped up tight, for sure.
enemies. You're not gonna make fools of us! But with those injuries... Let us withdraw. Bye-bye for now! Man, this stinks. Where'd this smoke come from? They're throwing our canine friend here off the scent. As long as we put up with the smell, we'll be fine. But I can't stand that smell. We're going after them. with this heat. We've passed through the caverns and come out on the other side of the mountains. So you mean... Those are the sands of Kagor. Whoa. We made it all the way there? The sands of Kagor. Pharaoh's here. I... I'm going on. To meet Pharaoh. Wait! We can't just let you go alone! I mean, our job right now is to protect you. Well, we did get the stolen box back, right? Yeah, I guess we can't just keep chasing him around. <sighs> All right, we'll take care of him next time. Hold on. Are you seriously going? Do you know what you're saying? This is a desert. It's hot. People die here, get it? I'm ready for it. I think. The desert is divided into three regions. Huh? The foothills to the west, the center where it's hottest, and the massive peaks to the east. Hey, hold on! There's a town between the end of the western foothills and the central area. Where did you hear that? I went there with a friend once. It's a nice town built up around an oasis. We'll hold off on any major decisions until we get there, then. Sounds good to me. Paul Raven wouldn't be able to think straight till he cools off. What are you gonna do, Patty? What's that treasure you're searching for? Maristella, was it? Well, I can't guarantee you'll find any clues in that town, though. Don't worry. As long as there are people, I'm sure there'll be clues. Well, there are people living there. Then I'll be joining you. Rita. I know. We'll make that our first destination. I'm still trying to get my head around the fact that Regay was Jaeger's alter ego. This spells out the connection between Ruinsgate and Leviathan's Claw pretty clearly, and that Jaeger was the boss of both guilds. Isn't it kind of early to say that for sure? It is possible that the Regay we met was just Jaeger putting on a show. Maybe the real Regay's off in some ruins someplace, just digging away, happy as a clam. We're gonna have a hell of a time if it's really that complicated. I don't know. Maybe I'm just puzzling over it a little too hard. We'll have to keep at it until we get to the bottom of this mess. <laughs> <laughs> 